Hey gamers, Stogie here, and today I am bringing you a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 video on Hijacked. And this is a two for one. And by that I mean this is a digital warfare ass whooping video, but I'm also going to do a commentary about a separate topic. So instead of doing just an intro, I am going to discuss something with you guys that I really want to hear you guys' opinions on. And, um, you know, we're approaching 200 subscribers on my channel, which is freaking awesome that is crazy dudes especially because i mean i don't advertise i don't try and get subs whatsoever and you guys just i don't know where the hell you find me but you just join up and watch my videos which is super cool i i think that that's the best way to interact with people on your youtube channel um and i really appreciate it but uh in this video I, i'd also like to give a special thanks to uh danamite dunpizzle jason Voorhees, dark freedom communism uh, those are all the guys from Digital Warfare 24-7 that are playing with me in this video. So shout out to them. Um, and in this video, I'm also using the SMR. And I have Select Fire and Adjustable Stock on it just in case you guys are wondering. I'm going for the uh, Assault Rifles in Diamond Camo. And I was on the SMR and I'm no longer on the SMR. I think I, this was about a week ago. And here's a nice triple kill right here. Triple feed. I think I get a couple of those actually in this gameplay. So look out for those. But... Um, yeah, this is from like last weekend, and I'm done with the SMR. I'm down to just the M27 and the three-round burst gun. Can't remember what it's called right now, but uh, the three-round burst gun and and the M27. That's all I have left. But um, anyways, that's the video, um, the digital warfare ass whooping part. What I wanted to discuss and talk to you guys about is Call of Duty in general and going forward on next gen. What um, the Call of Duty franchise is going to have to do to continue to keep you playing the game and you specifically I don't care what anybody else thinks except for you so I want to hear your opinion from my standpoint man I don't you guys some of you guys know me more than others but I've been a Call of Duty player forever and I absolutely love the Call of Duty series um, going all the way back to COD 4 I have just I've played the shit out of these games and they are really the games that got me into multiplayer um, I didn't get into multiplayer with like Halo 2 and stuff. I had some roommates in college that played that game, but I didn't really, I didn't really get into it. I, I really got into online competitive multiplayer with Call of Duty 4. And so my roots, I'd like to say in online, you know, I don't want to say competitive because it's not like the competitive scene, but you know, it's more competitive to play against real people than bots. My experience with that really started with Call of Duty 4, so I feel a lot of allegiance to Call of Duty, and I've played every Call of Duty since then but World at War. And I'm a little bit concerned about the future of Call of Duty and what I'm going to do with this game going forward because, honestly, there's a lot of stuff in the game that I, that I don't like that really bothers me when I play. So instead of having a fun experience, I get distracted by stuff. And probably the biggest thing is how quickly you die in this game and how much that's impacted by the time to kill versus lag situation so you guys all know that there's lag in call of duty because it's based off of a person to person host connection rather than a dedicated server and in call of duty i mean you like this smr it kills people in two bullets so two bullets, I could literally, with the connection advantage, get off two bullets and kill you before you even see me on your screen. And to me, that just makes a really unfair game. And it, it makes for a lot of situations where you get upset when you really shouldn't have to get upset. So for me, I'm thinking forward with the Call of Duty series, and I play a lot of other games too. You guys have seen Crisis and Battlefield 3 on my channel, but before I started posting on this channel, I had another channel. I posted a lot of Battlefield 3. I, I love that game. I, I'm like a level 24 colonel in that game, so I've played a lot of Battlefield 3. And I gotta tell you, with the dedicated servers, being able to play with my European friends with absolutely no delay whatsoever and having my hits register, that is a huge, huge bonus for me because it's just more fun. I'm on these games, I'm playing video games to have fun, and that's what I wanna do. So going forward into the next gen, if Battlefield is going to come to the next-gen systems and have a lot more players on the servers for consoles, like kind of currently like the PC has, so that will en engage you more in the game and have more action in the game, I'm not sure what's going to keep me in Call of Duty. Honestly, I mean, if Call of Duty could get dedicated servers, if they could play, if you could play the game and you didn't have the hit detection delay and shit, 
and you could just play and have your hits register and that that kind of aggravation went away that would probably keep me in the game because this game is obviously a lot different than Battlefield and like Crisis that you've seen me post. It's a lot different. It has a lot to offer. There's been many, many iterations of Call of Duty, and over the years, I really feel like they've perfected I feel like Black Ops 2 is the best Call of Duty to date, honestly. I don't know. What, when people hate on this game, I can't understand. I can't fathom what they hate about it. I mean, they've it changed and improved so much about this game. It's, it's fantastic. But the lag... And the hit detection and the time to kill just it makes for it's a really frustrating recipe I mean that that combination right there can just send you over the edge repeatedly and and I don't want that when I play a game so I I think the likelihood of them getting dedicated servers in Call of Duty is pretty slim because honestly if they were gonna do it why wouldn't they have done it by now in my opinion so my question for you guys is really what in, what in Call of Duty holds you guys, holds your attention? What about Call of Duty holds your attention? And what going forward into the next generation with some of the rumored games that are going to be out there and some of the things that developers are promising, what is Call of Duty going to have to do to keep you interested, to keep you in the game, to keep you buying their games, and to keep you having fun playing their games? Because if you're not having fun for this, fun playing this game, I don't, I don't understand personally why you're playing it. But... For me, playing games to have fun is the only reason to do it. I mean, I do this YouTube channel for fun. I'm not doing this to make money. I, ha I have a real job. I mean, I make real money. I do, I do things in life that are outside of YouTube. I just do this for fun. So Call of Duty for me is not about getting gameplays to show you guys. It's just about having fun. And there's another one of those triple kills I was talking about. It's just about having fun. I mean, I, I want to get on this game to have fun. And for me, into the next gen and into the next Call of Duties... I really think, you know, that the hit detection needs to be improved by dedicated servers or this game is just going to fall by the wayside because that's what it needs. Honestly, I've played enough Call of Duty to say that, you know, really my only gripe over the years is that the hit detection sucks and I die too much when I shouldn't and when I haven't even seen a guy on my screen. So let me know guys, what you guys think and I will talk to you guys later.